No lightning, no delays. We have made it to and through the final day of the 2023 PDGA Junior and Amateur Disc Golf World Championships. I'm Grant Zellner, along with Hayden Henry, trying to do our best to sum up what has been an absolutely pressure-packed week on all fronts, not just for the players, but for all of those who made this show possible, given all they had to deal with. Didn't hear a single air horn today. Not it's one. A, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> definitely learned a lot about air quality index this week and how really no idea. Ser- serious that is. And something that we should take uh, you know, account from a C tier all the mm-hmm. way through a major. We definitely did that. Got some weather. We're a little more equipped to handle that. But just a, a hats, hats off to these players that took every punch and rolled with it and the army of volunteers and staff to make this thing happen. Yeah, seeing those staff members late at night uh, pulling tables and chairs together in hotel rooms just to sit down with their computers and everything and trying to figure out how we could get as much golf as possible out of the time that we had with daylight hours being shifted around, with uh, weather systems coming through in the middle of the day, and of course losing that entire day to the air quality index problem. They did a masterful job of putting those players out on the course so that they could contend and decide the results for themselves on the course rather than uh, some kind of a shortening problem, some kind of a, a technical you know, rule or something coming into play. That, I think, is worth a lot of praise for those who put the show on. Yeah, and, des- and decide they did, those players. It came down to the wire in so many different divisions, playoffs, Uh, dramatic finishes, everything we come to expect when you're crowning a world champion. There were a number of uh, leads that changed hands during the final nine, a couple of playoffs, and even one eagle for a championship, a throw-in from nearly 200 feet away. All of the action from this final day. Let's check it out right now. MJ18, Patrick Yu out of Madison, Wisconsin, has been at or near the top of the leaderboard throughout the week. Took the lead by two during the Morning semifinal, heading into the final nine, a bit of a slow start. Finally got on the board with a birdie here at the ninth, his sixth hole of the final nine. Solid putt there, but it was Judah Kuistra out of Waxhaw, North Carolina, one of three players to begin the final nine, two shots back of the leader. Judah came out blazing with four birdies in a row, beginning with this one on the first, 312 feet. Slightly downhill, Judah to about 25 feet. And that's an opening birdie in the final nine. Ahead to the third, 219 feet straight uphill. Judah to circle two. Steep Heiser angle putt cashes that in for his third straight birdie. Ahead to the 11th, which was the ninth in the final nine. Judah coming in with a three shot lead, able to lay up for par and take the title. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the 2023 PDGA Junior World Disc Golf Champion in the MJ18 division, Judah Koistra. With Judah Kuistra, the MJ18 world champion, you had to come from behind in the final nine to do it. What was that like? Oh, it was crazy. I, at the very beginning, I just came to qualify. That was my main goal. So being in this position is, it's an honor. So really happy how I played this weekend. Yep. It's hot, it's muggy, there are bugs in our face, a lot of adversity from Mother Nature this week. How did you overcome that? It was it was tough with all the weather delays, not being able to warm up to what I typically do, but lots of time inside just thinking about my shots. What will you remember most, do you think, from this world championship experience? I'm really happy with the consistency, so probably that of my play, um, hitting lines, hitting my putts. Did you have a shot that you feel like is the shot that best expresses your tournament? I wouldn't say a specific shot, but I mean, probably believe the mid-range shots just were feeling good this weekend. What are the plans now for the future? You've got a world championship as a junior. You won't be a junior much longer. What comes next? Uh, I don't really know yet. I hope to go pro, but we'll see how that goes. Just play more tournaments and get more experience. 
Well, you heard the name first, perhaps this week, Judah Kuistra, a world champion. In FJ18, Ellie Middling has had a dominant week, going all the way back to her 482-foot winning long drive during field events. Comes into the final nine with a 16-throw lead over Trinity Bryant. This at hole number two, 198 feet uphill. Ellie, friendly kick and connects on the birdie putt. Ahead to the third. A bit longer uphill at 219 feet. This time, Ellie threw clean past the basket. And connects on the long birdie putt there. Ahead to the 11th, the final hole of the final nine. Ellie able to walk it in for par. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present the 2023 PDGA Junior Disc Golf World Champion in the FJ18 division, Ellie Mitlin. The best amateur female division in disc golf, FA1, Hannah Lingle from Winona Lake, Indiana with an 11 shot lead going into the final nine. She leads Robin Eng and Amber Jones off the first tee with this beautiful forehand. No need to press here. Lays up on the first and moves on to the second uphill at 198 feet. Left side gap with the forehand. No layup here. <laughs> That's a birdie for Hannah Lingle. And we move to the last, a drop in for the victory. TD Nate Heinold <laughs> and PDGA Executive Director Joe Chargaloff stepping in to congratulate. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 PDGA Amateur Disc Golf World Champion in the FA1 division, Hannah Lingle. <laughs> Anna Langle representing Winona Lake, Indiana. You are a world champion. How does that feel? Feels pretty unreal. It's been a long week, uh, especially long day, uh, but it's been a blast. I mean, I was not expecting this coming in, so I'm, I'm very thankful and I had a great time this week. When you look back at this week, what are the highlights? What are the moments about the week that you're going to remember both on and off the disc golf course? Yeah, I actually started a list of things of little highlights. And none of them had to do with rounds, really. They're one of them. I had to throw in like 120 foot throw in. That was that was exciting. Um, but I mean, just hanging out with my friends, like outside of uh, outside of the rounds and uh, playing doubles was super fun. I had a blast playing doubles and Northwoods uh, that has been my my favorite spot. So I enjoy this course a lot. So. Um, so yeah, I mean, I played with some amazing women and just the competition is awesome. I don't have that where I can't, where I come from very much other than the Peyton who got second place. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, so it's awesome to play with a ton of great competition. What was it like having to start and stop multiple times during the course of the week due to weather delays and other things like that? How did you get through those challenges? Uh, I mean, I was pretty fortunate. Um, I, I mean, I did have to stop and start, but like, it was less of a big deal than it was for some others. So um, it was it was an interesting experience. Uh, I have like I've been an athlete my whole life and I have some aches and pains that linger. So dealing with those as I get cold and have to warm back up um, was just something I had to deal with. But um, overall, yeah, it, it felt like a grind. The day, the long days felt like a grind, but but worth it and uh, a good time. We're all in it together. And I think when people are having a shared experience, even when it's bad, it's it's a memorable thing. So it was, it was good. You got to enter this final nine with a pretty comfortable lead and got to go around the final nine, pretty much knowing that you had the victory. What was it like getting to reflect, getting to play uh, with the pressure sort of off, uh, getting to just enjoy time with those that are supporting you and walking in the gallery as well as your card mates? Yeah. I mean, I was still pretty nervous. <laughs> um, I laid up a lot and played some really boring golf, but um, but I I was very fortunate that I could do that. Um, and it was cool. I have uh, my some of my family here. My dad's been caddying for me. My sister and brother-in-law came. Um, my mom's babysitting back for their kids, so that's awesome. Um, and then 
a couple of my friends came too. So uh, it was really cool. It was a cool experience. Um, and honestly, like the, the women I was playing with were a blast. So I feel very fortunate to have gotten to go through it with them. Future PDGA major plans? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not thinking about that yet. Uh, I feel a little, uh, a little ready to not think about disc golf for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, had an absolute blast, but, uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. Break well earned. Hannah Lingle, a world champion. At 2023 AM Worlds, the MA1 division got the worst of the delays, losing a full round of play, completing their third round at 6 AM on the final day, and then heading straight back to the course, Carson Smith wearing Ohio State colors. Started the round two back of Axel Olsen, but starts hot, burning four of the first sixth, including that at the sixth. Then ahead at the ninth, Carson a little trouble off the tee. This is what Northwoods can do to you, Carson working hard just to keep getting down the fairway. Pretty good play there, but it is a bogey nonetheless. And Carson falls behind this man, Axel Olsen. Axel, it started off a little cold, catching fire late here on the 17th, 330 feet uphill. And a little short and left, but can see the basket from there, no problem. 45 feet. Yeah! The huge birdie. Let's go. And Axel with a one throw lead, heading to the 18th. 660 foot par four through the gap and a long downhill finish. Axel, a smash to 191 feet of the pin. This, the approach. A birdie would have won it. A par might have won it. And an eagle walks it off for Axel Olsen. Axel, your 2023 PDGA AM World Champion. Axel Olson, it's been a long week, and here you stand at the end of a week filled with delays, lightning, smog, everything else. You've overcome all that adversity, and now you are a PDGA major champion. How does it feel? It feels so good. I... I struggled a lot more than I thought I would this week, and through all the delays and things, I, I for a while I didn't know if I was, you know, going to even be in contention. Um, so winning this feels so good right now. That last shot was quite the exclamation point. You measured it before you threw it. What was the number on that throw in for eagle at the 18th? Yeah, I measured it. It said 191 exactly, and I had just just thrown an approach from 191 on a hole prior, but on flat ground. So I knew I had to give it a little bit more power to get it up there, and uh, I gave it enough to go in the basket. I mean, that was a Steph Curry swish is what that was. An exclamation point, a memory. What are some of the memories other than that one that you'll take away from this major championship experience? Oh, all these like these uh, six morning, 6 a.m. start times. I've never done that before. Uh, the adversity with these like muddy tees that I've had to deal with. Um, that's been a huge, that was a huge problem for me for a long time. Um, but the cards I had were all phenomenal. Like they're all super fun to be around and I enjoyed every minute of it. How old are you? I'm 17. I just turned 17 last month. So what are the plans for the future? What uh, element will disc golf play in your life as you exit your teen years? We'll see. I've got another year of high school to go through, um, the rest of this summer. Um, so I, we're just going to see how it goes, see how I progress as a, as a player and, uh, just go from there. I can't wait. Where's the trophy going to live? Uh, it's going to go on my on a bookshelf with all my other ones that I've got right now. Uh, but it's definitely going to take the middle spot, right, for me to see every time I walk in my bedroom. All right. Axel Olsen, a major champion at the age of 17. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. Whole 18 at Worlds, down by one. It's got to go in. Unbelievable. Yes. Ledgestone.
Every summer, hundreds of disc golfers flock to the greater Peoria, Illinois area to compete in the sport's richest and most charitable event, the Ledgestone Open. But what does Ledgestone look like for the rest of the year? On the surface, Ledgestone is one of disc golf's leading retailers. But look a little closer and you'll find a group of motivated individuals providing the best possible service to the disc golf community. So whether you're building a bag, wanting to support your favorite pro, or looking to add to your disc golf wardrobe, choose the retailer that's as passionate about the sport as you are. Choose Ledgestone. Back with us in Peoria, Illinois, as we wrap up this PDGA major for both the amateur and junior divisions. Lots of picture-perfect moments throughout the week. Let's relive a few, shall we? Let's do it. Welcome to the 2023 PDGA Amateur and Junior Disc Golf World Championships from the Peoria area, Grand Zellner and Hayden Henry. We have seen a number of today's top rated pros get their first taste of PDGA major success right here at this event. We wanna give you a scope of just how big this event is. The kids out here and the style that they have, they look professional, they have a social media presence. Straight to the news of the day, suspending play due to air quality concerns. Let's start off by saying it's great to hear chains rattling in the background. Yeah, no doubt for about sure. it. All of the different divisions that are being contended today, starting with the two courses here at Northwood Park. Junior divisions playing everywhere else. Just off camera here to our right, a table filled with trophies. Every one of those will be awarded today to a brand new PDGA major champion. In many cases, it will be their first major championship and probably the biggest victory of their career. And we get to sit here and witness that. Amateur disc golf world champion in the FA1 division, Anna Lingle. <laughs> Judah Koistra, Axel Olsen, It's always so exciting when we get new plastics of the passion, but I always end up falling back on the stock ones. And I like to say its closest counterpart is the buzz. I think my absolute favorite way to throw it is dead straight and just watch the beauty of a straight flight. They've become a staple in the Discraft lineup and also in people's bags. And to know that people everywhere are enjoying the passion as much as I am, that's just really exciting for me. Good job, buddy. I can't believe it. You're up next. Stay turning. Uh oh. Oh no. Ooh. Wow. Out so that's inbounds. What, that's exactly. She, I mean, Unbelievable. Yes. PDGA staff literally packing up to hit the road with another PDGA major, barely a week away and most of the way across the continent in Arizona. But before we leave Peoria, Illinois, Hayden, final thoughts, an attempt to sum up this week. Ooh, we, we've tried and we've praised the, so many people that made this happen. And we just want to congratulate the 12 new world champions that we have. Just incredible golf all the way across the board from FJ8 all the way through our uh, AM champions. And um, yeah, like you said, heading to Flagstaff. Barely a week away, the Masters World Championships in Flagstaff, Arizona. We will be there and you'll be able to follow along with the PDGA at PDGA.com and on all of our social channels. So until then, for Hayden Henry, I'm Grant Zellner. We'll see you down the road. And go vote. <laughs>